beautiful Librans, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for the end of April right through to the end of May 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Librans, I'm going to get your overall energy first and then the details uh, will follow after to see what is coming towards you with regards to your career. Uh, so let us see what your overarching energy is. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Oh, the Empress card. That is a beautiful card. Also, it is a Taurus Libran energy. Uh, so definitely you are showing up in a very strong position when it comes to your career. Um, we've also got the Hierophant and we've got... The Force, which is basically the Strength card. So a lot of courage, a lot of movement forward, and breaking chains to any stuck energy that may have been uh, holding you back recently. Um, the Hierophant energy there indicates your dedication. Uh, so you may have felt a little bit uh, a lack of motivation recently, or a lack of sort of focus, um, and felt like really rebellion, uh, rebelling against uh, any sort of duties or anything like that recently, because I just feel like there's this sort of, I don't know, uh, you may have had a lack of energy recently, so you just don't feel, um, you weren't feeling in the vibe, but now you're back on track, okay? Uh, we've got Venus, love. Now, of course, the Empress card is uh, connected to Venus, so this is about doing something that you love and desire, um, you know, and putting your whole heart and soul into your career and gaining a lot of abundance and fruition. Um, through it. You've also got the fifth house there of creativity and we've got Taurus I have. Now the only reason I mentioned Taurus, you may have said why didn't I just say this was a Libran energy because it's a Taurus Libran energy but uh, I could feel that energy of Taurus coming through here. Uh, now I have is all about possession, it's all about prosperity, it is all about as you can see there's a big old coin right there. It's all about uh, everything that you're working hard towards, you know being paid for um, your uh, hard work. Now, I don't know if you noticed, the candle's just flickering there. So we've got a little bit of energy joining. Um, they're actually giving me a song right now. I love it, the song that they're giving me. Um, now, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. This is about the energy. And I say this because the song that they're playing, um, you know, the begin the, the, I'll basically give you the lyrics of what... Uh, I can't tell you, I can't remember who sings the song, but um, she works hard for the money. I think it says so hard for the money. Um, okay, okay, so it's just on a loop of that actually. Um, okay, so you've been working really hard, I guess. Again, male or female, it's not a gender specific reading, but that's the song that's just coming up. Now, either, I mean, that sounds completely relevant to this reading, of course, uh, but it can also connect to you in other ways. It can mean that you just heard that song right before you listened to this reading, or it can mean that it plays just after this reading or in the next four to five weeks with regards to some sort of news. Uh, so we're gonna go and get the details in a moment and I'll, I'll see if I can get an energy of when this song will be relevant to you. So uh, please take it as it resonates. But the first card here is the Empress card. Now this is about everything you've been working really hard towards because the Empress nurtures ideas or is very creative, very productive, working on something and cultivating her land in order to um, bring things to term, to fruition. So I feel like you've been working really hard at putting your whole heart, soul, love and care and devotion into your career, okay? This is who you typically are, but recently you may have felt like you've been blocked with ideas or you may have felt a little bit less creative than usual or less um, sort of 
it's not that you're less dedicated. I don't feel like it's that. It's almost like um, you felt a little bit unmotivated recently. Um, but I feel in the next four to five weeks, you're going to get this boost of energy where you're back on track. You're feeling more like yourself than you've ever been. Okay. The Empress card is a card of being very creative um, and also very productive. So I feel like you're going to be busy in the best kind of way. Um, I was saying this to a Sagittarian uh, reading earlier, and um, although you're an air element and they're a fire element, um, the same energy is coming up. So perhaps it's relevant. Maybe you've got a placement in that area. Um, you know, when you love what you do, it doesn't become a task. It doesn't become a chore. You're just involved in it. You love what you do. And I feel like that's what you are doing. You're Libra, you're an energy of beauty, of creativity, of love. So all of that merged into your career sees you being very, very successful. Okay. Uh, and I don't know if you noticed, uh, you know, both these cards as an outcome, it's almost like the lion is like, hear me roar. And like, even that bull has got its mouth wide open, like making sound like here I come ready or not. And bulls are typically connected to like wall street finances, money. You can see like a big old coin right there to have, uh, you know, Taurus energy tends to be connected to, um, prosperity or finances, working really hard, being tenacious and driven to get what you truly desire. And that's what you are doing. But the most important thing here is you're putting your own needs first. You're recognizing that you deserve better, that you bring a lot to the table. You have a lot to offer when it comes to uh, your dedication, when it comes to your energy, when it comes to your uh, talent, your um, your passion for something. Um, so, you know, I feel like you really stand apart from the crowd. and. This is going to be a little bit more of a creative time. Even if you're going through a little bit of a bump in the road in your career, you're going to find creative solutions to actually uh, move forward. Uh, all I see with your cards is you moving forward, uh, which is really wonderful because you've had a bit of a period where you have felt a little bit like in limbo or stagnant for a while. Um, this card also indicates you're brimming with potential and possibilities. So if you're thinking about putting your resume out there, for example, or you're thinking about going for new opportunities, you are someone that people will gravitate towards to hire in a, in a hot minute. OK, so I feel like you're, um, you know, you're turning heads when it comes to your career. You're being noticed. Also, the Empress card is someone who tends to be very abundant, someone who, um, you know, magnetizes prosperity towards um, her because um, she's put in the hard work. She's already placed those seeds. They're already growing. So I feel whatever it is you're currently working towards, um, you know, you're still on track and actually you're um, going to reap the rewards of all your hard labor. Um, this is a time for, um, I, I just get this energy of birth of prosperity. I know I never really get that energy birth of prosperity. So either perhaps you're setting up a new company or you've had a new idea that you're like, you're, literally like birthing a new idea and it's going to be very prosperous so please take that as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everyone of course but venus love okay now this is going to be for a small portion of you librans out there okay uh, it's not going to be for everyone because i'm feeling like i'd say about 13 15 percent energy that i'm feeling with this card it's like some of you may be like in a relationship or maybe a new relationship as well. And, you know, it's almost like that's been consuming your every waking thought. And, you know, you may not have been focusing on your career much. You've just been on autopilot, okay? Now, some of you may be seeking love and um, that's been in your waking thoughts and you've been like not focusing 100% on work, okay? Uh, now, that's only a small percentage. Uh, I feel like... Uh, for example, some of you may be in a relationship and you've been planning a wedding uh, because we've got that uh, hierophant there as well. So you may your attention may have been elsewhere um, is what they're showing me. So that's only for a small portion of Librans that are coming through right there. Um, but you'll get back on track once that's going on, of course. And if you're getting married, for example, and you're, uh, you know, planning that right now, everything, you know, congratulations and good luck with that. Um, but for the rest of the Librans with this energy here, I feel your whole heart and soul is in what you do. And I mean, all Librans, you know, when your heart is engaged, you're capable of achieving everything you set out to do, which is what they're showing me here. So you may be looking about uh, the work that you do right now and asking you yourself bigger philosophical, philosophical questions like, am I where I want to be? Is this the job I want to do? 
I'm capable of a lot. I'm very talented. I'm very driven. And, you know, um, if I feel unstretched in this position, then perhaps I need to put my own needs first and take myself elsewhere. Okay. Because I really feel like you're checking in with your heart, with your career right now, just to make sure you're still happy where you're at. Or if you've hit a glass ceiling, I feel like you may be looking at learning new skills, for example, with that Hierophant card to go into something different. Okay. Uh, the Hierophant card is a card of learning. It is a card of, you know, um, also, um, I'm going to park that to the side because they're giving me another energy coming through with that. Uh, this card is a card of learning and I'll come back to what, uh, they're giving me there in a moment. Um, now this card of learning is about you either putting yourself on uh, new courses to learn extra skills. I mean, you're very talented already. You've got the Empress card, which means you're really good at what you do. You're the best of the best. Okay. And because you're so dedicated and your heart's completely in everything that you put your sort of mind to, um, you're a really good, um, either a boss, good boss or a entrepreneur, or you're a good worker. Okay. Uh, people notice you for all your hard work and dedication and you know, your, um, willpower and that you're trustworthy and all of those things. So, but I feel if you are feeling unstretched, you're going to be looking at taking new sort of skills on. Um, and some of you may actually, uh, I mean, there may even be, if you're feeling unstretched at work, uh, you may, speak to someone in a position of power in your workspace and say, Hey, I'd love to be put on this course in order to help learn new skills to enhance my time here at the business. So I feel there is a potential for that as well. But the Hierophant here tells me also that you've recently had a little bit of, um, lack of faith in your career. So it may be that you, you felt that you were in a routine, you're stuck in a rut and it's a repetitive cycle and you're feeling a little bit like unstretched or a little bit kind of like meh. Okay. Uh, but I feel like you're going to gain that faith, that determination, that's that drive back, that motivation is going to come back on in. And we've got the fifth house there of creativity. Okay. So I feel like this is going to be a very, uh, productive, creative time for you. Now, some people are like, Oh my gosh, productive. That means I'm going to be really busy. Maybe I'm not going to be paid more, you know? So I, I feel it's actually something you enjoy. Okay. And Sagittarius got a similar energy of this. It's like duality. Okay. So perhaps you're thinking about setting up a separate business or your own creative business on the side. It's going to be very financially lucrative, just to let you know. Okay. But they're showing me here. Um, it's interesting. These are like typically, you know, theatrical masks, like the, the, the laughter and the tragedy, that sort of thing. Um, but what they're showing me here is you being really separated about the good points of what you do and the bad points. It's almost like I see someone weighing up pros and cons to their career. Um, and if you're not happy, if there's more cons, as it were, to what you're doing, I feel like you're recognizing that you deserve more, deserve better. So if you're overworking yourself and uh, you're not fairly recompensed financially for it, you may decide to look for another position elsewhere that pays you the money that you truly deserve, okay? So I, I feel you may have a little bit of a look. Now, the energy that I've parked over there is there may have been some sort of drama recently um, with people in power, okay? So if you work for a company, for example, there may have been some kickback, some hypocrisy that you've witnessed within your workspace, and it may have caused a little bit of a rock the boat kind of energy. So I feel, although the, the people in power notice your hard work, you may feel like there's too much office politics or no support, for example, or people abusing their power. And you're like, you know what? I feel like I'd be happier uh, either elsewhere, or perhaps you may go to someone in a position of power in order to take things further, just to make sure that um, you can feel a little bit more happier in your workspace. Because I feel like right now you're looking at being happy at what you do having your heart engaged in what you do. I mean, financially, there's going to be a really great outcome, but you're starting from the right point where you're like, am I happy with what I do? Is my heart in this? So um, I feel like with that, the shell, shells always represent listening, listening to the heart. So I feel like you're listening to your heart and knowing that you deserve better and you're putting your own needs first. But I feel you're going to attract a lot of abundance towards you. Um, the Hierophant also tells me that sometimes you may feel like you don't fit in at work. You've got a lot more creative originality, okay? You're someone who thinks outside the box. You're someone who does, you know, does things differently. And you may feel like some people are like, you know what, that's not the way it's always been done. It's always been done like this. And you're like, well, it would be easier for everybody if it was kind of done like this. We could streamline and 
save so much time. But the powers that be or the structures that are in place, the hierarchy, if you will, are the ones who are like, no, that's not it. We've always done it like this. So it's a rigid system. You must do as you're told and be within the rules. And I feel because this is in the resistance position, you know, you're the sort of person who'd be like, yeah, I'm learning the rules, but I'm going to break the rules because actually it's easier to do it like this. And I've saved myself like three hours of paperwork and uh, bureaucracy and things like that, red tape. So I feel like you're looking at ways to um, sort of streamline your energy, work smarter, not harder. OK, um, now some of you actually the second stream of income or perhaps it's even going to be your first stream of income in the end is really creative, okay? I mean, you got love and creativity. This is about dream, doing your dream job. Um, maybe something that uh, you even thought long ago may just be a hobby, but it's turning into something that's financially lucrative. So I feel like some of you may want to step into a position of being on the stage or, um, you know, musicians, artists, that sort of thing, uh, because that really, you always have to keep that lifeline to some sort of creativity, Libra, because that is who you are. You're a very beautiful, creative, loving, sensitive, sensual person. Um, and you always have to uh, sort of keep your, how can I put that? Keep your hand in a creative pursuit in order to balance yourself out because Libra, you're all about balance. Now, some of you are actually going to be offered a creative project. Now, I, I see because they're showing me a contract in the water right now, someone signing something. So either you're going to be offered a project. Um, if you're looking for a job and you don't currently have a job, I see you signing a contract that's financially very lucrative, something that you're going to be really able to save for uh, the future in. OK, um, especially since we've got that force card is an outcome. This is like you may have been struggling with something and it's been holding you back, but you're breaking the chains now. I feel like you're pushing through any obstacles, even if that's low motivation or drive or even if it's, you know, office politics and sort of um, gossip and all of that, that drama that goes on at work. I feel like you're pushing past that and you're moving forward. The strength card tells me that this is about your power, your self-discipline, your composure and your endurance to you know, achieve whatever it is you set out to do. This card is a card of, you know, durability. You're not the sort of person to give up. And I feel like you have the power to be very, very successful. It takes courage to follow a dream. It takes courage to follow a dream opportunity and say, you know, I'm going to be successful at this. And you absolutely will. OK, um, you've got the tenacity, you've got the drive, you've got the talent. And uh, the Taurus I have indicates you will have. OK, it means what you have in your hand. OK, it's not just some sort of idea. You know, Venus you know, is all about love and putting your energy in. It's about a dream. You know, it's that dreamy kind of energy. Um, the creativity aspect tells me that you've got the passion to do and the talent to do whatever it is you set out to do. And then the outcome energy tells me that with hard work and that's what you're implementing right now. Um, and you, know, you will achieve whatever it is you set out to do. You'll be able to say in the future, I have accomplished this. I have this prosperity. I have worked really hard for this because I feel you are going to achieve so much financial gain. Uh, this card, it is number 14, which is about the temperance card, which is about um, re-examining your priorities, making sure you're on the right track, finding that balance and sort of uh, having patience, working really hard. Again, it's a Sagittarian energy, uh, the temperance card. So there's definitely some sort of either you've got placements in Sagittarius or there's a Sagittarian influence there for you. Uh, but it shows me with this huge coin there that financially there's going to be a lot of reaping of rewards for all of your hard work. OK, now I'm just going to get the details to see what's coming towards you. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Libras? Woo! OK, so there's a lot coming towards you here. Uh, first card here, we have the Six of Swords. Moving on, uh, we got the Ten of Cups. We've got the Five of Pentacles. I'm just going to go get these cards Put that back. Uh, we've got the Two of Wands and we've got the Ten of Wands. OK, so they're indicating here that um, you're moving on to something that it's almost like you've learned a lesson in something learned a lesson to um now what i'm getting here um don't shoot the messenger when i say this it's almost like i feel like you've learned a lesson in working really hard for things like establishments or people in power and that no matter how much hard work you uh, do or how much you give of yourself 
you always feel like um, they either pinpoint your weaknesses or they try to uh, they don't they try to get you know more hard work out of you for free, not giving you the money. Okay, I just feel like uh, with these cards here in this position, I feel like sometimes you feel unappreciated for everything that you put your hard work into. Okay, um, that's all about to change because this is the challenge position. So it shows me that there's something here changing for you. The Six of Swords means you're moving on. Uh, you've gained greater wisdom. So perhaps where you're at right now, you've gained a lot of insight into uh, the way careers work. Um, and I feel like you're using that to your advantage. This is a very strong, powerful energy that's coming through. Um, how much you receive? Thank you so much. We got the Four of Swords and we got the Three of Wands. Yeah, so I see you looking to see what else is out there, okay? They want the Two of Wands. That's the second time we got the Two of Wands. And we've got the Five of Cups. Okay, so they just said one more for the win. One more for the win. Thanks so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Okay. The Chariot card. Now that is the win. <laughs> I was, was going to say, this better be a good card for them to say one more for the win. Well, the Chariot card is actually a win. It is success. It is the winner. The, you are victorious. This is motivation to move forward. But it's starting with that Six of Swords, which means you want to move forward. Now, some of you may actually want to relocate uh, because the Six of Swords can be a physical movement card. So either you're actually thinking about, um, I mean, you're doing a lot of thinking here. Four of Swords, Three of Wands, Two of Wands, Two of Wands twice. Now that is about mapping your progress. It is about being restless where you're at. Maybe you're planning, you're in the planning stages. You have an appetite or a yearning to do something different. Maybe even to do something more creative. Because the Six of Swords indicates that it's a rite of passage you've been going through in order to sort of change your way of thinking, for example. Uh, so you may have been uh, feeling a little bit stuck in a rut. Uh, that motivation, that drive has been lacking because it's telling you that there's something other that perhaps you're capable of achieving. Uh, so the Six of Swords, I feel like you're moving forward, but you're being protected. This is a card of being protected. Being protected, moved out of troubled waters. So if you were lacking that motivation or that energy, uh, Spirit is guiding you out of that difficult period in order to achieve something else. Now this is, I mean, Six of Swords can also be a card of wanting to escape or wanting to explore your options, going on a journey of discovery, okay? And you may be evolving. Sometimes we evolve and outgrow our work scenarios, uh, seeking something more connected to our heart rather than, you know, working for a nine to five company, for example. So I feel like you're really thinking about that at this moment. Should you stay? Should you go? Uh, the Four of Swords here tells me um, that you're contemplating, you're meditating on something, okay? The Four of Swords is all about, uh, you know, finding stability, of course, but reflecting on something. So perhaps you are trying to work something out at this time, something that you love doing, you wanna work smarter, not harder. So I feel like you're trying to connect to that. And the Three of Wands tells me that you're looking at, you know, alternative options. The Three of Wands is, you know, a card of observation, anticipation. I'm just gonna let that, that motorcyclist go past. It's the same one, just keeps going up and down, up and down all the time. I do apologize for the sound. Um, but the, the Three of Wands there is a card of, you know, see what's out there, the market. Or, now, this card also connects to business, so it can mean that you're patiently waiting for the right moment. Um, so if you're in a job, for example, that you, um, it pays the bills. We've all got one of those that pays the bills. So, you know, it's not our dream job, but it's one that, you know, we kind of enjoy to be able to pay the bills. But there may be like something more creative here, something more for yourself that you're wanting to save for in order to build up a business in that arena, okay? So I feel like with this three of wands, this is about you being enterprising. This is about you thinking about the future in terms of business and playing the long game, okay? Uh, the three of wands is also a card of expansion, expanding on your opportunities. Now, this indicates that there are a lot of opportunities out there for you and you can trust yourself. You're making really good decisions. If you're ever asking yourself, are you on the right track? The answer is yes. All these questions that may be in your head right now, uh, I feel like the answer is yes. And I also feel like you're on the precipice of something big, okay? Um, whenever you see water, 
it tends to be about dreams, emotions, goals. So, and it's, the wands are all about passion goals as well. So I feel like this is about a dream opportunity that can really take you somewhere. Uh, some of you may even want to, and this is not going to resonate for everyone. Some of you may be thinking about traveling for a living or, um, being a bit more freelance in some way uh, because they're showing me like movement shaking things up a little bit and you may be wondering if this is a viable option for you i mean i feel like yes it would give you more work i gotta be honest if you're going to be freelance the ten of wands tells me it's going to give you more work but it's work that you enjoy with that ten of cups it's that's why i was saying right at the beginning you know when you love your heart is in something so much it just doesn't feel like a chore but when you're working for other people and you're like coming in and doing all of the work and you feel like it's not rewarding then it feels like a chore so i feel like whatever it is you're trying to achieve i feel like you're making sure your heart's in it before you make any further decisions okay um with the ten of cups here i feel this is like you're happy ever after you're looking forward to the future you're in that zone of farsightedness where you're like okay i want to do something creative something that really speaks to my heart that dream opportunity that dream job now that dream job could be for example um it could be like being your own boss being an entrepreneur or a director of a company um, with the Hierophant there, I feel like you could be someone also thinking about being someone who advises people, giving really good advice, uh, someone who um, is a mentor or teaches in some way in some sector, because I, want, I see you wanting to give with love, okay? Um, now, you may be w going into the education field in some way, um, and the Two of Wands tells me that, you know, you are sort of like aligning yourself with uh, this thought, like it's almost like you're getting yourself ready you're preparing yourself this is a card of feeling restless but getting prepared because your appetite uh sort of expects you to go in a certain direction okay so you may be just watching and waiting um now it doesn't have to be the education field it can be the creative field you know um you know you may be someone who wants to step into the limelight for example uh be famous or um i feel like there's a little delay there. There's been some blockages, but in the next four to five weeks, you'll see a move towards you um, meeting people who are in very high places, okay? I feel like you're vibing with people who have the potential to really help you move in another direction with your career. Um, so if you're going for interviews, for example, um, then I feel like you're meeting people who are in positions of power and they see what potential you have where perhaps... <clears throat> you felt unappreciated in the past. I do apologize for coughing there. Now, they're showing me here, and I'm going to pull some cards out of it. We've got Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles indicates, now this is an outcome position, and because you've got a Five here as well of Cups, I feel like the Five of Pentacles is like, you may feel right now that um, you're going through a, a, a struggle, or there's a longing here that you haven't quite... There's a longing to change or longing to walk away from something, but you may feel like you're not quite in the position to be able to do that yet. That's why I feel like you're playing the long game, but it's not too far away, okay? Um, with that Five of Pentacles also, you may be, if you're doing something creative, for example, you're walking away from something, you may actually be contemplating taking a lesser salary, but your heart's more involved in the new position. So um, please take that as it resonates. I mean, I would always um, make sure, you know, whenever people take a financial drop, make sure you can like be able to pay all the bills and have no nasty surprises. I did that many, many years ago and I didn't plan exactly uh, for um, that eventuality. It was a bit, bit of a big shock, but my heart was involved in the new, okay? So, I mean, it worked out eventually, but it was a struggle, I gotta be honest. Um, we got the two of wands here again. So I feel like you're trying to use your intuition. Okay. With that two of wands, the eye shows me that you're trying to, uh, use your third eye to visualize the future. Uh, thoughts really do become things. So I do feel like you will, uh, although you may be in a position of waiting for results. I mean, some of you, like you just come out of college or out of university and you're waiting for results to see which way you turn in order to get a position that you've been dreaming of or working hard towards. All I see in your reading is that you're working really hard towards something and it may have taken you a long time and you're starting to wonder if you're on the right track. But the answer is yes. The Ten of Wands, whilst it is a card of sometimes burning yourself out or feeling exhausted, feeling that fatigue, because you it's almost like you're enduring something. You're working so hard towards something that you've felt like you've been going nonstop. You've been overloading yourself. 
But the really great thing about the Ten of Wands is that you're actually releasing the excess and you're clearing way for new beginnings because there's no way past that Ten of Wands other than you're starting anew, you're starting afresh, you're letting down the heavy load, okay? In the traditional Rider Waite Tarot, you've got a figure who carries the Ten Wands towards his home and he's nearly there. So he's nearly about to set down his load and be like, ah, oh, I finally accomplished what I set out to do. So I feel like you're actually at that space where you're nearly accomplishing what you set out to do. Um, the Five of Cups here indicates you may feel a little bit um, unappreciated where you're at or you're not really sure, you don't want to make the wrong decision. Or you maybe, if for example, some of you, if you lost your job or you, um, I feel like you may be thinking that there's nothing better out there at this time, but all of a sudden, it's all about perspective. All of a sudden, you see those two cups right there, all of a sudden, opportunity arrives at your door. It is a surprise. The five of cups uh, can all uh, talk about pessimism or shortages or, you know, the sacrifices that you've made have led to an element of disappointment because you put so much hard work in. But I feel like you're going to you're going to see things shift in a really positive direction because the chariot card indicates you're moving on from those hardships. You're moving on towards success. Now, the chariot card is also a directional decision card. It can mean, do I turn left? Do I turn right? Which way do I go? But either way, you will be triumphant. Uh, the chariot card is about gaining that energy, that momentum, that willpower to succeed. Your dedication, your drive, and your confidence, most importantly, will bring you towards success. So I see that you're headed in the right direction for success, but I feel like you're taking some time out to contemplate your next move when it comes to your career, because I feel like you're wondering, are you still happy where you're at? Is this going to lead me to the happy spot where I get everything I want? You know, the be able to be emotionally content, have lots of, um, you know, abundance, uh, you know, um, peace of mind and, you know, like harmony in life and success because the Ten of Cups is success. Will I get success if I'm on this path? So I feel like you may be contemplating moving in another direction in some way. Now, you may be staying where you're at, but you may be like, oh, asking for your your boss for example if there's any opportunities for you to elevate within the within the the company and i feel like you will actually get an opportunity to do that i'm just going to pull some more cards because what i see in the next four to five weeks is you contemplating something rather than i mean right at the end right right about the end of may i feel like, like there's action like there's movement I mean, the Six of Swords tells me that there is a thinking because swords are about uh, in the mind, you know, peace of mind and um, sort of thinking about transitioning or relocating. And then the Chariot tells me there's actual physical movement. So it shows me that it's a slow process, but it's a slow, deliberate process that you're thinking about. Can you show me something more? King of Wands, Queen of Swords. Now, it can mean that you feel there is a pers person where you work that is emotionally very cold or picking on you in some way. They're very, sometimes deliberately unkind. Uh, this could be a boss type figure, um, or it could be just someone you work with. Uh, it can also mean that um, with the Queen of Swords, that you feel unstretched mentally where you're at and you're looking for something that is like brings you a lot more passion a lot more excitement you want to step into a position of leadership perhaps or you i mean libra this is your card and it's in the reverse so it tells me that you feel right now that you're not 100 percent yourself at this time and you're trying to be honest with yourself but i feel like you're capable of more okay um the king of wands tells me that either you're trying to align yourself with a position um uh, you know, uh, to elevate, um, you know, be a leader, be uh, someone who is a, a boss or some sort of go for a promotion uh, or a raise, uh, because I feel like it's time. The King of Wands always is like, it's time. Um, now, some of you are actually going to gain sponsorship as well, is what they're giving me. They give me the word sponsorship in the water. So that's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. But this card is a card of vitality, exuberance, motivation, boldness, taking a leap, for example, but also being secure because the King of Wands tends to be um, protected by spirit with that uh, sort of salamander there. So I feel this is about you. Um, I mean, some of you are actually going to be like influencers on social media platforms and things like that. It, what you say matters, okay? But you may have felt creatively a little bit blocked recently or low motivation, um, but that's all about to change. Um, I would say 
you know, as you move forward, I feel like you're going to get more confidence. Um, either you're stepping into a position of being an entrepreneur or going for a raise or a promotion. I feel like people in positions of power are noticing you, but most importantly, you're noticing you. You're noticing that you deserve better and you're noticing that in order to be financially uh, secure for the future, you're putting your own needs first and you're creating a plan based around that and you're creating healthy decisions uh, in your career that see you um, you know, not being taken advantage of or you see you being appreciated for the skills that you've got. And if that means moving further afield, I feel like you're ready to do that, take that leap. Um, and this could be even a leap where you set up your own business on the side and, uh, you know, something creative that will actually financially uh, lead you to a lot of success and a lot of movement forward. I see it actually eventually taking over the main stream of income that you have that maybe you feel mentally unstretched in. OK, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to get some final cards. I mean, there's going to be financial reward at the end of this, uh, but I feel like there's no real movement until about four to five weeks time, okay, on some decisions that you're making. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Gordon Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know? We've got the rose, protection, love, romance. And as I said, some of you Librans out there have been focusing on love a little bit more than career, and that's okay. We all need to have that balance in life. Um, but I feel it's more about the love for what you do. Okay, uh, one more. Sorry, I, I do normally get three of these. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels, can you please guide? And we've got 4D dreams, okay? So definitely dream opportunity coming on in here for you to take charge in some way and be a little bit more creative. The King of Wands is very creative energy. So we've got number 11. So if you're asking if you're on the right path, 11 says you are still on the right path. And it says here, your bond deepens as you surrender to the purity within your heart. Protection, love, romance. Now, it can mean that perhaps there's been a bit of a romance at work, okay? Um, and you... Um, or seeing how it goes, I guess. But I feel this card more, I'm getting like, because what they're showing me is like a rose amongst thorns. So I feel like where you're at, you blossom, you stand out, you thrive, whereas everyone else is just kind of like thorny. It's almost like they are just, they're on autopilot. And I feel like you are recognizing that you stand out here. You're like, you know what? I'm capable of more. So either you're rising up within your career space. Um, now, they did. They showed me some balloons the other day in the water for a reading. It may have been for your sign. I can't remember if it was for your sign or another sign, but they showed me balloons again. So balloons are about being a little bit more playful. Uh, I mean, it could be about elevation because they're, they're showing me like them in the air. Now, or you can actually see balloons right now. Maybe you can see a picture of balloons or you can see balloons elevating uh, through the sky or something like that. Please take it as it resonates. It showed up in a reading the other day and it's showing up again. So I'm going to have to recheck the Libra reading and see if it was for your reading and they want me to transmute that again. Uh, we've also got blessings, fortitude and steadfast. So the path is being made clear. You are, you, know, you are going to be on your way towards whatever it is you set out to do, your true calling, your life's purpose, and there is prosperity attached to that. I mean, it's guiding you straight towards a lot of growth there and also straight to the sun energy, which is all about success. And it's number 55 when you reduce it, five plus five is 10, which is a wheel of fortune energy, which means there is a turning point in your career that you're gonna be really happy with, okay? And we've got number 42, 4D, and it says, Unravel, navigate, recall. When you look for the deeper meanings within dreams, you uncover a part of yourself, your psyche, information about yourself and others may be uncovered that goes ignored in waking life. Now, the fact it's got unravel here and recall, I feel like you are doing a lot of thinking and waiting and watching before you make a decision. So I feel like you're thinking before you act and trying to find out um, you know, where your heart lies in your career. Uh, also, dreams indicate a dream opportunity. Maybe something that you've been dreaming of, or maybe you actually had a physical, you know, you actually had a dream about something and you're, it starts to come true. Like, for example, if you dreamt that you were working in another sector and all of a sudden you see an advertisement for a job exactly like that, it can mean that your dreams are trying to show you you're getting downloads from spirit saying, we've given you a little sign. Pay attention. So just watch out for that. OK, I'm just going to go and get a before we close. Thank you so much. We got the tower. 
okay now the tower I mean of course towers uh, if you've ever been to the Eiffel Tower I've been very lucky I went uh, one time um, and you know there is ele elevators on there and as soon as I touched this it was like I was put back this is me physically put back in the elevator going up on the tower so maybe this is about you going to the top you know having the courage to go to the top in whatever it is that you're trying to achieve okay now tower is of course it looks like the Eiffel Tower there connects to Paris so perhaps some of you are thinking about relocating and working in France in some way or maybe just relocating to somewhere uh, that um, you can elevate in some way uh, towers tend to be like major change so um, because it's the trinket it means this is something that is ha that you are doing rather than it is happening to you so I feel like this is a, a major change that brings a really positive outcome now they also just gave me pillar of strength pillar of strength so perhaps you've been trying to be strong and battling away in your career um, and now you're breaking the chains you're right on target I just see you going to the top this is I just it's almost like I keep being in this elevator so either you're listening to me in an elevator I'm picking up this energy it's not just a memory for me it is I feel like I'm physically in an elevator so either you're currently in an elevator as you're listening to this reading or um, oh it's making me quite feel I'm gonna have to ground myself before okay that was an odd experience um, to feel like I'm traveling upwards uh, in an elevator um, when I'm at, at the altar. But anyway, um, so please take that as a They want it on the chariot card. So this does mean movement forward, success, motivation, drive, and achievement, accomplishing whatever it is you set out to do. So I do feel like you're on the precipice of something big here. The path is being made clear. I feel like you've done a lot of learning in order to take it with you to the next part of your journey in your career. So whether that's within the same sector and you're moving on up, or whether this is something that is totally different and you're sort of breaking the chains and you're moving forward. I see you being very, very successful either way, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Librans. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me, okay? Also, if you'd like to be in the chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is be grateful to the universe every morning when you wake up. And um, the more grateful you are, the more the uh, universe sends opportunity for you to be grateful for. In the comments box below, just put this sentence, I have an attitude of gratitude, and I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of April, and I'll announce the winner's name in a video upload only, okay? I won't know the person's name until the 28th of April, because my guides just won't give me their name until um, that date, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Librans. Love and light.